Oh, what is up everyone? Randy here. Today I'm going to show you how you can use graduated filters inside of Adobe Lightroom to bring back some details in your highlights. So let's get into it. All right guys, so I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just showing you the raw right here and I'm going to jump ahead to where I have already edited before I have added any graduated filters. The main thing that we're going to be looking at here is this sky. Now if you look at it from the beginning, from the raw photo, you can see that this sky actually has a lot more detail in it than I'm showing right now. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hop into this graduated filter tool, which is this little square. And I'm just going to reset everything to zero. And then what this graduated filter tool is going to do, it's kind of going to let you do a local overlay adjustment. So you see as I click and drag down on this, it kind of creates these three lines. Now what these three lines are going to do is it's going to show you how far down your filter is actually going to go. So I'm going to go down here, I'm going to hit show selected mask overlay. So by dragging down you can see in red how much of your picture is going to get affected by this filter. Now if you grab that dot and you just drag down, that's going to drag the whole filter down. And if you grab that bottom line and you drag down, that's going to feather your filter. So it's going to affect the harshness of the line. So if I wanted a really hard line for some reason, which I normally wouldn't because then you can tell you've used a graduated filter, you can do that and then you could just drag it down and you see that line is really hard. So I'm just going to go ahead, I'm going to filter this out, or I'm going to feather this out right now to where I want it to be, that looks about right, and I'm going to unclick this show selected mask overlay and then I'm going to make my adjustments. Alright, so I know that I'm going to want to jump my exposure down just a tiny bit. And as you can see, I'm already starting to get some of the detail back in those clouds, but now I'm seeing that that feather was a little bit too strong, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shrink it down a little bit so that I get a little bit less feather. And then there we go. You can see that that instantly is bringing back all of these cloud details that we originally were losing. Now just by looking at this, I can see that I'm going to have to make a local adjustment. That looks a little bit too, um, too yellow for me. So I'm just going to go back here, I'm going to update the color temperature and you see that lets you update it only inside of this graduated filter so this is a little mask overlay that goes on top of your photo. Now that that's come in and I can see that maybe I want to bring in a little bit more white to make that pop a little bit and then just like that maybe bring down my blacks just a tiny bit and then just like that we've gone just by using this one tool we've gone from where we were right here after I did my initial edits and then added this graduated filter and you can see I use it to bring back this detail and it kind of gives this image a little bit more of a dynamic look. So that's pretty much it guys. You can use this graduated filter to do these types of things to bring your sky back in. You can treat it pretty much how you would an ND grad filter if you had it in front of your camera. Um, it's a great way to replicate that look in post and it's pretty simple as long as you don't have too much uh, exposure loss up here. So you can really use this graduated filter tool to bring back a lot of detail and kind of bring back a little bit of the highlights or you can bring up the shadows in your photos. So that's pretty much it guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. Hit that like button if you found this video helpful. See you next time.